I think it's the same in every sport or team team sport. Like even in basketball, I'm pretty sure I've heard a lot of examples where like the star players just dominate like the conversation of what's good, who's good, whatever, or like who who they want to play with and stuff like that. And I've heard like some of the star players, like the most dominant players of all time, are like the main coaches of teams too. Like they're ordering people around, telling them how they want to play, stuff like that. And yeah, I think like in league, it's the same thing. Like if you have a lot of star power, you can definitely determine who you want on your roster. Or like if you're a standout player and like people, you're like a leader in the game and everything, then then people will trust you more. But I don't think there's that many coaches that just are great, like at the authoritarian style or like at knowing what's right and like at how to fix mistakes and stuff. Like I think the best coaches in, in NA right now um, were... Or like my opinion of, of the top coaches in the era, they're all all the Korean coaches pretty much. Like I think Reaper's probably top there, and Kane can't name them all because I don't okay. really think about coaches that much. But you know, like I, I just I, I think you have to be able to correct mistakes. Like you have to have some authority and be able to play the game at a high level at least a little bit. So like the players trust that you're not like full of shit unless unless you take a different approach. Like personally, I I like being coached by ex pro players just because they. They, they know what's up, you know, like they, they play the game for at a high level for a long time or a game at a high level is good enough for me too. And Fly, like Fly, Fly was an ex uh, StarCraft pro. Mm-hmm. Reaper was an ex League pro. I think Kane played League pro too. Like, I think it, it takes a certain mindset to be a pro, I think, and it, it applies well to being a coach, I think too, at least a little bit. But like if you're a faker, I don't think you'd be a good coach, if that makes sense. Like mm-hmm. maybe that's a little paradoxical in nature, but. Like if you're just like insanely talented at the game and you don't know why you're that good or you're not like good at breaking it down to other people, then you're, you probably would be a good coach. This has been a preview clip for Deep Dives into the Minds of Esports. The full episode drops this Wednesday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please make sure to subscribe and follow to make sure to keep up to date with all the content that I am producing. I do produce weekly videos every week with a new guest. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.